are you? Today, we will have another story from the Bible. But before that, let us prepare the following materials. Your pencil, your paper, and your crayons. Children, let us now start our worship service through a prayer. May I ask everyone to stand, close your eyes, and listen carefully to the prayer like you are the one saying it. Abba, our Father and King, you are alive and powerful in all. We are all praying now to ask for your guidance in listening to your words. Please give us enough knowledge to understand the things that you want to teach us. Please give us a strong faith even though we are young. Help us to be obedient to our parents and to your commandments. This is our prayer in your name. God, Jesus Christ, our only Savior. Amen. Before we proceed to the story, we will have an activity first. I am inviting you to close your eyes and answer the following questions you will hear. Number one, do you believe that I am still here as your teacher even though you can't see me? Number two, do you believe that you have brain and heart inside you even though you can't see them? Alright, you can now open your eyes. See, even though you open your eyes, you can't still see your brain and heart. But all of us still believe that we have it. Did you know, kids, that there is a greater thing than believing? It is called faith. Pamana, the story that we are about to hear is about faith. We will know the servants of God in early times and understand that their faith becomes pleasant to the Lord. In the book of God that we call Bible, we can read many things about the servants of God that have great faith. Come and know them. In Hebrews chapter 11 verse 4, by faith, Abel offered an excellent sacrifice to God. In verse 5, by faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found. In verse 7, by faith, Noah, being warned of God of things not seen as yet, moved with fear and prepared an ark to save his family. In verse 8, even Abraham say, yes, with faith, when he was called to go in the place where he will receive the inheritance from God, even though he doesn't know where it is. In Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, but without faith, it is impossible to please him, for he that goes to God must have faith in him, that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. In Hebrews chapter 11 verse 3, in faith we know that God created the world with his words. And in Romans chapter 10 verse 17, faith comes from hearing and hearing through the word of Christ. Pamana, all the servants of God must have faith in Him. We should all have faith in the Lord and this came from listening to the words of God. That is why it is important that we always listen to the lessons from the Holy Bible. There is a big difference between belief and faith. In Hebrew chapter 11 verse 1, Now, faith is the substance of things we hope for the evidence of things not seen. Pamana, belief is when you see something happens with your own eyes, that's why you believe. Meanwhile, faith is the hope and evidence of things that we can see. So now, children, let us always be faithful to God like His first servants. Moral of the story Do you want God to be pleased with us? We should be faithful. If we have faith in God, we will not be impatient in serving Him. We are full of hope in serving Him that we will receive the promise of an everlasting life. 
for our activity, draw a heart if you think it says faith, and draw a circle if it says belief. Number one, you got the highest score in the exam, so we can call you a genius. Number two, you will have an exam in school, so you prayed to God and ask for His guidance. Number three, you got sick, so you ask elders to anoint you the holy oil, pray, and ask God for help. Number four, you are sick, so you went to see a doctor. The doctor gave you prescription for the medicine you will take. Then after taking it, you finally felt better. Are you done, kids? Great job! For our next activity, get a piece of paper and draw a big heart. Inside it, write down the word faith. Then, color it with yellow. Abba, our Father King, you are the one who can do all things. We are grateful for all the things that you have given us. We pray that you will always guide us until we grow up. Please help us to be obedient pamanas to our parents and to your commandments. This is all we ask in the name of God, through Christ Jesus, who is our Savior. Amen. That's where our Pamana class ends. I hope you learned a lot. See you next week. Miss Pa! He taught me how to praise Him He taught me how to sing a song He taught me how to love Him He made me a little servant of the Lord My Lord is amazing My God, my God Gives me anything, teaches everything He taught me how to praise Him He taught me how to sing a song He taught me how to love Him He made me a little servant of the Lord He made me a little servant of the Lord Oh